Hello, it's Victoria from Coastal Themes and I am super excited to be showing you Ghost today. So, so far on this channel we've been looking at Framer and you might not have known, you might know if you've come from Coastal Themes or if you've looked around our themes themselves, we also create ghost themes and we are going to be teaching you ghost tips and tricks just like we do with Framer. And Ghost is a really great platform, if you've never heard of it, it's kind of like WordPress meets Substack meets tumblr <laughs> we kind of find that the people who are using these um themes the people who have engaged with us are very kind of skilled at making small edits knowing exactly what they want to change and for me it kind of it's kind of giving the tumblr a uh, generation has grown up and now we're on ghost so i'm so excited to be showing you ghost i'm going to be showing you how to upload a theme because a lot of things are kind of hidden and how to set up your membership and so on so i'll give you a bit of a workaround i'll upload a theme i'll show you how to customize it and then i will direct you to our beautiful themes we have three of them and hopefully if you like this video remember to drop a comment below if there's anything else ghost or even framer wise you are wanting to learn and subscribe to the coastal themes channel cool so Let's start by looking at the dashboard. So this is what happens when you sign up. You can access the dashboard once you've linked everything is just your site.com forward slash framer and that is where you log in. So this is what happens when you logged in. I'm going to skip the onboarding and then you can see your dashboard. So typically you'd see kind of your analytics of your members and so on. And then you can also see some featured publications and some tips and tricks for ghost so we're going to jump straight into the settings before that I'm going to open the site in a new tab so this is what the site currently looks like and let's jump back here we're going to click on settings so this is where you'll find everything you need pretty much so perhaps when you're editing you want to make the site private or when you're ever kind of maintaining the site just go ahead and click that but we're going to start with design and branding which is probably where you're going to want to start, especially if you're uploading a theme. So hit design and branding and you can see that you can customize the nav, the announcement bar and the design and branding. So the theme, the colors and the layout. So we're going to hit customize and you can see this is the same as what we have over here. And you can see here you can change your site title. So let's change that. So you can see that is updating here. You can upload your logo and cover and then here at the bottom you can change the theme so i'm going to click on this i'm going to upload a theme i've got the themes here so these are our three themes i'm going to be using misty today and i'm going to activate it perfect so now you can see our incredible theme you can see our site titles populated at the top and the hero section is slightly changed so we're going to go in and edit this. So starting with the accent color, this is, it is what it says in the box. <laughs> it is the accent color. So when you're clicking around right now, it's pink, kind of this like magenta -y pink color. I'm going to make it, we're going to go for a neutrals vibe today. We'll make it maybe like a dark brown. That's cool. And then you can upload your logo as mentioned and then finally the cover so i'm going to delete this and i'm going to upload a cover so let me find you can also link it to unsplash so let's actually use unsplash we'll just choose something neutral something neutral we'll do something sunrisey perfect so you've got this publication cover you won't see where this is being implemented at all now, but I will show you shortly. And then we're going to jump to the site wide tab and you can see that there's a few colors for the theme. So I've got it on cream, but there's also yellow, which is super nice. Green, blue, marble white, gray and cherry red. So I'm going to leave it as cream for today. And then we have our accent text color, which will change the text on these buttons so I'm going to leave mine as white just because of the contrast 
Same, there's tiny elements like enabling the sticky header, which isn't showing right now. <laughs> there you go, there's the sticky header. When you scroll, you can see that there. We'll disable that and then you can change your fonts. So we have a few standard fonts. I'll use Work Sans today. Mm, no. Poppins, yeah, we'll go with Poppins and then Body Font Work Sans. Perfect. So there's a few other elements you can go in and fill in. And then finally, we'll go for the home page. So the hero form on the home page is here. So right now it's the sign up form. So how you gather your users' email addresses. But you can change this to pretty much be any of these. So we've got the sign up form. We have just a sign up button. We've got a search. We've got just the title and intro. And then we have none. And that will just be empty. So I'm going to leave it as title as in, title and intro. And here you'll see where the cover image feeds in. If I select show cover image, you can see my cover image is here. So what I can do is disable this and put in a video instead. So I have this video over here. This is a hero video, which I'm going to want to use. Super nice slow-mo. So I'm going to grab this URL come back here and paste this video. There we go. So now we have this hero image. So you'll be noticing where's my text gone. So in order to re-enable the text to come back, you must make sure that show cover image is toggled on. And then you can see that your text will come back. So I've got my title and intro only, and that's perfect. And then finally, we have post, which is what your kind of post detail page looks like. So we have the category, the heading, a hero image, the date, the author, and the length of time it takes to read the article. And at the end, we have a nice footer section where you can share and subscribe and so on. So you can change the size of the image. You can have it just to be whatever, however the image comes, a square, landscape, wide, letterbox and ultra wide so I'm going to keep it as letterbox but you can customize that as you'd like so now if I hit save and jump over here and refresh you can see now I have the new color which is the brown and I have my new fonts my hero video and then if I click into a post we've got the letterbox style the next thing I want to show you is membership. So you can access it here. And you can see there's a few kind of access settings which you can go in and change, which I will leave this up to you, but we're going to be looking at the tiers. So here you have to connect to Stripe. So I'm connected on test mode. Make sure to kind of switch from test mode to live mode when you're ready. We'll do we can do another tutorial on this if you are needing help with the Stripe connection, but it should be pretty straightforward. All the prompts are given to you when you are prompted to connect to Stripe. So I've connected to Stripe in test mode, and you can see I have two tiers at the moment. I have free, I have a $5 um, tier, and I'm gonna add another one. I'm gonna call it gold, and you can add your description, so. You can change the pricing here. You can even change the currency. So we'll make this 10 a month or 100 a year. And then you can redirect the user to a specific page. At the moment, I'm just gonna leave it as the normal home page. And then here you can add in all your benefits. And then if you wanna add a free trial, you can. And then we'll hit save. And we will close this and there you go, you can see. So now we have our three tiers and that is all you need. <laughs> so what happens is that when you have these tiers enabled and you start publishing content, if I go over to published and hit on this post, which I have, I can 
select who has access to the post. So right now it's public, but I can select members only. So that's any members paid or not paid members only. So that's any of my paid tiers, or I can select specific tiers. So if I make this gold, it will only appear to gold. If I make this my other tier, it will only appear to them. And you can select and choose who you want this to present to. So that is how you change access. So if I hit update, that will be updated and so on. So now when I go to that post, it says this post is only for subscribers with the tier in gold and you can be prompted to sign up. So that's how you manage access. The next thing I'm going to show you is pages. So same thing with pages is when you hit to edit a page, you can also edit access here. I'm going to leave this as public and we'll head back. Okay, so now I'm going to be going back into settings and showing you how to set up your membership sign up settings to make sure that it all shows up correctly when you are prompting people to sign up from pages or posts. So come into settings and come down to portal settings and you can see here we have portal settings, customize members mode or sign up flow. So I'm going to hit customize. And you can see here that I only have these two tiers selected and showing. I have three tiers, so I'm going to show all of them. And you can toggle whether you want to show yearly or monthly. And as well, you can change the change the look and feel. If you want an icon, icon on text, text only. That's changing this subscribe button in the bottom right corner. And then finally, your support email. So that's just to make sure that all the tiers are showing. So we'll hit save, we'll close this, and we will head back to a page. So now I'm going to show you how to create a membership page. So we're going to hit new page. We're going to call this memberships. And with our theme, we have a couple of page templates. So we're going to scroll down to template and you can see here we have it on default, but there's authors, contact features, hero and membership. So we're going to hit membership and we're going to hit publish, continue, publish, copy link, and we will open a new tab. And you can see here that you can see all our memberships. So we've got free coastal themes and gold <laughs> you can rename these obviously to whatever they are going to be and you can toggle between the pricing here monthly and yearly so this is how you can use our templates to create the pages that you want and then we also have a sign up page so i'm going to name the sign up and change the template to sign up and let's see what this looks like. And this is as easy as it is. That's just generic sign up page. So you can kind of use these templates to adjust it to what you want. So that's sign in. Here's sign up. So I got that mess mixed around. <laughs> We've got that was sign in before. This is sign up. We have authors, which shows our authors page. So you can see I'm one of the authors. I can see my location, my name and the posts which I've written. So to go and edit authors, if we head back to settings, you can see here we have a staffs tag uh, tab. And if I click on this, you can see that I'm one of the staff. You can invite new people, but when you view profile, you can edit this so I can edit an image, I can put a cover image, I can add any information, I can add my Facebook profile, a bio, and so on. So if I, oh, there we go. So if I refresh this, you can see my bio, you can see it links to my website and so on. So that's how you edit your authors and that's super easy to do from the staff tab. So 
that is all the core stuff you need to be aware of. So that's posts, pages, kind of paywalling your content, uploading themes, adjusting those kind of um, colors that are related to the theme, your call to action colors, and using our page templates to kind of customize pages and also looking at authors, creating new staff members for your team and, and creating their profiles. In the next video, we will definitely go over some more things you can do on Ghost, but for now, that is all you should need to know to create your first Ghost site, and be sure to check out our theme. This is Misty, what I've been using, and we also have two other themes, and those are all accessible from the Coastal Themes site, as well as from the Ghost Marketplace of Themes. So that is it for today, and I will see you next week with another video. Bye.